Good evening, good evening, everybody. Good How evening, you? everyone. How are you? You okay, James? I'm excellent, thanks, Liz. How about you? Good. I'm good. Welcome to the eleventh episode of the Wedcast. The Wedcast is a live online wedding show. Certainly is. Let's chat weddings. Pew. Ah, oh, here we are, number 11. Number 11, a very, very warm day to be oh, doing an online it's show happens. in black. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Haven't you got a window to open? No, You've got not, with, black not with your strict visual conditions. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, windows yeah. closed, blacked out. But I mean, the webcast is serious business, isn't it? You know, like, it I feel a bit like a superhero you know, that we might help one couple and save the day just with the information we can provide this evening. So that's very true. So being boiling hot, yeah, to look cool. I got you looking cool there. We and your sign behind as well. Boosh, Thank you. the webcast, loving it. It's worth it. It's, worth it. <laughs> it's good to be back every week. So, 100%. what is the webcast? So the webcast is your opportunity to speak live with wedding venues and wedding suppliers and ask them the questions that you want to ask. It's about giving you information so you can make informed choices. That's very true. Bang on. I think that's the best one you've done. I know. Do you know what? I, th I felt a bit, though, like I was doing um, a little bit of a snippet for a dog roaming advert. <laughs> I got really in the mood. So And you looked straight down the camera as well. I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the webcast is not a selling live stream. We're not here to do the big sale, book me, book me, blah, 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 all the usual stuff. We're trying to be a little different. Um, we are here to really help people. Um, this isn't about me. This isn't about James. Um, this is about you guys watching. Uh, and we've got a few people watching us as well. So hi and oh, welcome. Thank you, you know. so much for um, for tuning in and helping us out. If you've got any questions, please ask away because we're going to get them live on screen. Um, yeah, so we are uh, the webcast and we're not here to do the big sale. We are here to give you information each week on a different topic. And tonight, James, is my favorite. It is. It is. Wedding photography. I'm excited too. I mean, everyone, everyone likes... Good pictures, don't they? I think it's they um, do, and everybody wants to look good in their pictures. And I absolutely. think, um, with my experience in weddings and the experience that we got somebody coming up with as well, we got Nick Murray Photography from Cardiff, uh, yeah. Newport. Sorry, Newport. Oh, god, he's gonna kill me. He's going to kill me. <laughs> he is going to kill me. Oh, is he? I hope he haven't run away now. Oh, he's still there. I can see him. He's still oh, there. Yeah. Don't go, Nick. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just so uh, everyone knows nick's like kind of backstage he's not under les's desk because no, <laughs> the way yeah, you're looking at that's him. Oh, he's, it? Not... Oh, he's backstage yeah. so yeah we've got nick murray photography um who is uh one of my favorite photographers uh local photographers to be honest uh his work is absolutely yeah. brilliant so we're going to be chatting to nick about how to find the perfect wedding photographer um, and we're all going to have a little discussion later on uh, after we have a look at his work and, and his website and stuff and get a bit of the uh, Nick Murray experience. No, and I, I've already looked at his website and stuff, and it is really cool. I am genuinely really intrigued. So Yeah, he's got some fine images of Nick of, and um, yeah, he's a, he's a bit of an inspiration. He's a really good guy. So um, yeah. So how have you been since last week? I'm busy, very busy, mm. you know, just doing bits and bobs and the webcast, making sure we've typed up the tips and sent them out to everyone. Yeah. And at this point, we'll remind you that if you want to get the webcast top 10 tips every week, then just inbox the webcast, webcast page with the word tips. That's uh, right. And then you'll get them directly to your That's... Facebook Messenger. So nice and easy. Very true. And who so, are yeah. you? So my name is James. My company is James Hawker Magic. I provide entertainment on your wedding day, usually during the quieter or lull periods, which almost every wedding has. And I'd like to think I provide moments and memories that last a lifetime. Yeah, and you do. Thank you. Uh, my name is Les Davis. So I'm Clicks Photography and Film. Um, been a wedding photographer for 13 years or more now. Um, Really enjoy it, and uh, yeah, quite really happy to be here with you, helping out bride and grooms. Um, and if there's any potential, uh, sorry, uh, in brides that have actually been married and they've got some tips, then please, 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 please give us some comments on screen. We can get them on screen for other bride and grooms to see because there's no yeah. better people than you guys have already been married and you've gone through this as well, you know. So everybody can help out here. It's not just me and James and, and Nick as well. 
Yeah. Um, okay. So, oh, should we uh, bring on our guest? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, let me just get rid of this. There we go. Boom. I, I normally do the magic thing, but I've been like building things today. So I, uh, my hands are not feeling oh, soft as normal. So we'll just snap the fingers ready. Do it. One, two, three. Boosh. Look at that. Del <laughs> Wonderful. There he is. Good evening, Nick. You okay? Hey, how's it going? You okay? Can you confirm? Yeah. Is it Newport or Cardiff? It's definitely without a day, Newport. Although on my oh. website, it's the near Cardiff, but that's like... Oh, does it? I know why. But in my defence, Newport is near Cardiff, so... Just outside like Newport. Yeah. 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 But yeah, yeah. You, you are Newport. I'm like 10, 10 miles away. Let's confirm that you are Newport. I am Newport, yeah. 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 Sorry, Sorry about it. that. It's so oil up here. We're all wearing black, like you said. I know. <laughs> Really it's crazy and you are where are you nick because it looks like it's a lovely room that i'm in my loft um i had my loft done a couple of years back um i used to um well we had the garage converted uh, and then tom came along that was my office so then that turned into a playroom so i went to the back bedroom wow. um, and then alice came along <laughs> and, yeah. then I had, and then i had my desk in my um in my Teresa's bedroom which one really uh in one five in right <laughs> so um uh, yeah, so we ended up getting this done a couple of years back. Honestly, yeah, it's the best best thing we've ever done. Don't have any more. Don't have any more children. You'll be out in a tent out the garden. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, say again. Don't have any more children. You'll be in a tent in the garden. Oh, mate, honestly, tell me about it. I'm out of here most of the time. Alice, I, I normally do something like this with Alice on my lap. She's normally up here. I'll, so you probably have her. Yeah. <laughs> She's oh, more than welcome. Nice. Yeah. She's more than welcome. So um, we've got. So I'm just have a look at some comments here in a minute. We've got. Oh, Lauren. Oh, Lauren. Oh, one of my future uh, past brides, Lauren. Beautiful wedding as well. Hey, Lauren. Um, saying Hi, the Lauren. best one. So hopefully she's saying the best one is wedding photography section, which is wonderful. I'm loving that. And we've also got. Oh, we got good old Rich. Rich is from Ram oh, Photography. Rich, Another good night. Good, good night. They say good night, Rich. <laughs> good evening. I meant to say. It's Are you drunk? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Saying a uh, massive Nick Murray fan. Good. A lot of people are. That's why we got him on. Uh, thanks, Rich. Thanks for coming along there. We've got any questions? Mind obviously another photographer. So your your questions would be uh, would be amazing as well, yeah, mate. This stuff is wicked as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it I is. love seeing this stuff. Yes, stuff it through Facebook. It's stuff possible as well. Yeah, he's great. And his wonderful wife is also part of the team. Let's not yeah, forget yeah. her because uh, next <laughs> time I see her, she will whack me across the head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so tell us a bit about Nick Murray. Oh God! How long have you been doing wedding photography, Nick? Um, ten years this month. Wow! Oh, um, wow. Yeah. So, uh, so I uh, I worked for a graphic design company. Um, oh God, how many years ago? Like probably like eighteen years ago, and I was there for ages and ages and ages. I've done all sorts of things. Like I worked for the police for a couple of years doing a, a drugs education roadshow for kids. I did that for a while. Oh, um, that's what I see now. Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> um uh i designed t-shirts for a while um and then i ended up falling into graphics i did film for a while as well but for a production company cardiff um uh, and ended up uh, yeah I ended up, the website though with the graphic design and stuff i was okay. saying just before we started i'm a big fan of nick's website which we will be looking at so yeah it still needs some tweaks i mean looking at it earlier on i i was i was standing through on my phone and there's differences between the desktop version and the, and the mobile version that Definitely need to be ironed out. 100%. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. So tell me, Nick, why out of all the genres of photography did you decide to uh, specialize in in weddings? I know you do. Uh, I've seen you. You've got a few um, family shoots going on at the moment and stuff like that. I've seen that. But yeah. why? I mean, when I think of you, I think of a wedding photographer. Yeah. Uh, so why why weddings? I did. First of all, I, I did my, my sister-in-law's wedding back, back in the day. That was literally the first wedding I ever did. Um, just, you know, obviously, you know, Nick, just Nick the guy with the camera. So I just thought, go on, I'll give it a go. So I turned up with my D40X and, and I had my, my 18 to 55. And God, I, I love my D40X. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is like, already, <laughs> this is like. <laughs> yeah, it's taking me, Dory. It was a real, it's a, basically, it's like a real entry-level um, camera. Um, and, but it was, it was the best I, I ever had at the time. So I had my 18 to 55, um, one SD card, one battery, just turned up. Um, I think I took probably like 100 photos, about 120 photos, but I loved it. I just, 
Was your thumb broke? What was your finger broke? I mean, okay, yeah. and, and the photos. So I, know, I'll do, I'll, I'll, I know I'll do that before like 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, but um, I just loved it. I, I mean, it, what, what helped? It was, it was kind of an easy kind of um, step into it because it was family. But I just loved everything about it. Everyone was really excited in the morning. Hey, Rach. <laughs> Everyone was really excited in the morning. Um, um, yeah, you had the nerves. You had like members of the family all come together, hugging that kind of stuff. Um, and it's, it's, I don't know, the whole gravity of, the, of, of getting married and being there to witness that was just something that it just resonated with me massively. I just loved it. Um, and then obviously we got to sit down, have a bit of a chill. Um, and then the party in the nighttime, which I loved as well. So throughout the day, I was, you know, you're photographing kids to middle-aged people to old people. Um, you're doing product photography, you know, shoes and, yeah. and stuff like that. Right. Documentary photography. You also mm. get to be, you know, that 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 little bit in the day where you you can completely express yourself. So instead of reacting to stuff, which is what you know you tend to do, you know, for ninety percent of the day, there is that ten percent of the day where you're not reacting. You're actually being proactive and you're thinking right how can i make something beautiful out of this situation here um you know when, when you go off with the bride and groom so yeah, yeah it, it kind of ticks it, t- it ticks all the boxes you know it's it's a, it's a wicked genre to be in yeah and i sort of I, to be honest it's probably the same sort of path i took because i i, I had a d40x i think yeah. i first of all i had a d d200 uh which i oh, loved okay. right which i loved and um it's probably a big beefy one, you know. And yeah, I thought, oh, my, this is my friends those. My friend loved it. And um, I, I wanted to go into fashion. I wanted to do catwalk and stuff, you know, and magazines and stuff like that. But yeah. you know, the, the dreamer I was then, and it, I mean, there's nothing wrong with dreaming. I dreamt to be a oh. wedding photographer then, and I became it. So I'm, I'm happy with that. But like the big dreams I had, I quickly realized it's really difficult, you know, to become a famous, you know, catwalk photographer. It's a big, big ask, you know. And I, you know. I obviously didn't, didn't, didn't get, I know I, I know I can, I can if I wanted to do it, but then I thought, what what else could I do? So then, like you, I shot a uh, sister-in-law's wedding, um, and I thought, I'm taking photographs of people. I'm taking photographs of people in lovely, nice clothes. To me, this is fashion photography, but in weddings, you know? And I just fell in love with it, loved it, absolutely loved it. And at the start, I did it for the job. I thought this is a job, but I did... After I would say after about three weddings, I was doing it because I loved it and the emotion. When I don't know if you're like me, but when you're looking down that barrel of people and you're looking at a groom crying or really nearly going, oh. it, honestly, <laughs> it go, I go like you know, Groom, and it, groom's crying. Honestly, it slays me every time. I mean. Yeah, I know because I've been there. You know, you do see yourself, and every time the, the, the people, um, every time that people, you know, say their vows, it, you do think back to your own wedding. You know, oh, I text my wife now. Right, I, I, I'm saying now, like you don't know why you bought you shot my wedding. Um, <laughs> I, I text Kate after in the middle of some sort of moment, right? Um, and I text her saying, "I love you," because it really takes me back to where I was, and I, I loved my wedding. Do you know what I mean? And I yeah. do it. I ninety eight percent of the weddings I shoot, I text her going, "I love you," because awesome. it takes me back there, and I can't believe I'm saying this live, and there's people oh, watching. No, 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 no. There you are. That's, that's what we need more of. <laughs> You need to say stuff like that. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, even I, it's the truth. Yeah. I mean lies. <laughs> I'm joking. She <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so for me, I was gonna gonna say that it's just nice to be around happy like occasions all the time. Yeah. It's just, it is. you know people that are happy and yeah, yeah it, it can make a real stark contrast really from some of the jobs that i've done in the past yeah. which I, so yeah i do absolutely love that on the day yeah yeah and you get to have that you you get you get to have that reaction as well so whereas i mean same with les you can show a couple the back of the camera after you've taken a photo and you get that kind of um you know oh, i love that it's, it's exciting and you know they see the image and they yeah. love it but then with you doing a trick for someone you actually see that reaction immediately, so you get that kind of good feedback. It's, it must be wicked. Oh, it's, oh, <laughs> it's incredible! It's, it's that's the reason why I do magic. It's, it's so it's just purely to give that feeling to people. So yeah, yeah, Sim- similar really. Oh, it's all very similar. And we had a magician on. Was it last week, James? Um, last week before, week before sorry. Last, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and he did some tricks with me. And the the 
the the pair of them. You know when the the reveal happens and the and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe what they just did. The the pleasure on both their faces is crazy. Do you know what I mean? You can see they clearly love. He blows that, my that mind. moment. I, I'm me. I'm me. I, I saw him. Yeah. At, I saw him at St. Tudor's, and I still don't know how he's done it. But he had he had his phone, um, and he I I, I trying to um, <clears throat> remember the, the trick properly, but he got somebody to say something to pick any word, any word out of the world, um, and he said, "Go to my Instagram," and that that word was written on his Instagram, and they could have picked any word. Oh, it was great. Yeah. I know. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's really, I, I haven't got a clue how that's done. And uh, yeah, he is really cool. He's a, he's a very good magician. So check out that episode if anyone's watching. Yeah, and, um, yeah. Yeah, just like I, I'm already picking up off you and, and Les, you know, your love for what you do. It was the same with Adam. You know, I was watching Adam when he was doing the trick for Les and he was so excited. <laughs> and that really made me feel good because uh, like that's... That's why we do the things we do, isn't it? So yeah, 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 without a doubt. yeah that, that's kind of the motivating factor. It's um, on a on a purely selfish reason <laughs> to to keep yourself happy. So if you kind of surround yourself in that environment, um, you kind yeah. of it, it kind of feeds back and forth. You know, I, I'm yeah. a very positive person anyway. So um, yeah, it's, it's it is a lovely place to work. It's hard. Don't get me wrong. There's there's challenges that come with it. But oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, but it's honestly it just just the, the, the kind of the people that you get to mix with and you know the happiness of the day you just yeah back to I, I, yeah. i've said this before i genuinely feel privileged to be part of you know a couple's probably one of the biggest days of their lives so yeah yeah it's, it's massive it's a big milestone isn't it? Mm, it is it is yeah. i mean i haven't got the pressure that you two have got i suppose i no i definitely haven't do you, do you and, which pressure? is I, I, I don't tend to feel pressure I, 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 I did at the start obviously i think with everything um you feel a little bit of pressure but i I, how can I say it? I, I, it's not so much pressure now. It's it, I still worry a little, um, just in case. I don't know. I just think it's it's so special. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've got double of everything, right? So if I if I rock up and, and a lens breaks, I know I've got another one in my bag. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm well just experience that is all. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm well prepared. But I think I I I quite like that little nervous little bit. Um, so I, I I think it's more nerves for them because I know exactly how how he's feeling when when that music kicks in and I know he's he's I could just see the the terror well, it's not ter yes yeah, terror I felt terror in 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 his in a groom's eyes thinking oh my gosh here it is you know I'm gonna say my words I'm gonna am I gonna mess my words up and you could see everything in his face when no one else is seeing that only me and you I may be the registrar because he's facing us. And everybody yeah. behind is just thinking, oh, I wonder what he's feeling. And I'm looking and thinking, bang, 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 bang. Got all these little wonderful little moments in his face. And it's just lovely to look back on, you know? Yeah, it is. That's class. Is. I always feel a little nervous just because I want to do a good job. I really care about it. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not about doing or performing magic. It's just, you know, I just want to do a good job. Mm. Yeah. So, I, don't, yeah. I don't think I've ever got nervous, but you, you do have that. That that kind of that that feeling you just want to do the absolute best ever job yeah. ever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, I I definitely get that. So you know, when when you're driving, you do that is on your mind. But I I wouldn't say it's nerves. It's just it's that you just want to do a good job for them, don't you? You know, someone yeah. some you know you built this relationship up with a couple, and um, you know they become friends, and you don't want to let them down, so you just go all out. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah, it's a lovely day, Nick. I'm just going to show your website. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you. Um, so, Nick's website. First of all, can we have a look at um, the logo? Or maybe we should say what Nick's website is. I yeah, just love so Nick's logo. It is really cool. Uh, so, Nick Nick Murray Photography .co is Nick's uh, website. Please go and check it out. It's really, really uh, is well done, to be honest. And I think that it shows his, his graphic background as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so can I just quickly just look through yeah, some yeah, of your on. some of your stuff a minute? I mean, this is why, um, and I, I know it sounds crazy, but I, I know I probably know some of your work. So say I saw an image, um, I would think, oh, that that looks like a Nick Murray for photo. You know, That's I think cool. you've re really got a nice style about you. Um, I love all these little this shot year. I think you're really clever with your um, with the optics and stuff and. Uh, lights and whatever these are in front obviously you know this yeah that, they're, they're basically little um led lights i got from yeah like, amazon for like three or four quid yeah but he, but even that i you know it seems like you're downplaying that there but to me that's 
creativity. That's your brain thinking, right, how can I create this image and I need this to do it? It doesn't matter if that, whatever that, that is, cost 300 quid or three pound. It's the creativity yeah. going through your mind, the process of, and I just love that about you, you know, it's really, really cool. Um, so, um, and I also, this, Im oh, I'm trying to do the wrong image here. here. This, <laughs> love, love this. Is that Canada, Canada Lodge? That is Canada Lodge, yeah. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, well, I was really worried because because the bride was actually swinging there, and obviously I'm worried. I'm worried about her swinging back and hitting the groom in the face. No so, 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 he to, so he was stood far back, and then he went to kiss her as she was moving away. So he kind of stepped in, um, because obviously yeah, because you wouldn't want teeth coming out there, would you? No, health and safety though, Nick. Health and safety conscious as well. I love her. Oh, very, very. Yeah, <laughs> bleeding lows is not a good look. I uh, know, uh, and so this I love this year. The saxophone player there, really, yeah, really nice. Yeah, cool. about my estate, which was really strange because I sent them, I sent them forms. Um, uh, I emailed, emailed them some forms, and she, she messaged me back. She's like, I literally live like twenty seconds from your house. Whoa! Oh no! Yeah, yeah that's mad. That was all, that was just, that was just on the dance floor. There was there was I don't know like a hundred people around there. Um, and I quickly called the, um, the saxophone guy over, the saxophonist, and um, yeah, just said to him, I'm just playing there and just tilting your head back a little bit. And one That's of the problems cool. as well was holding up her veil, because just to, just to give it a bit more interest, you know. Uh, so an image, this, I love uh, an adventurous bride. I do oh, worry yeah. when I do stuff like this, though. That's absolute legend, that girl. Absolute yeah. legend, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's well worth the worry. Her husband is, is oh, well, you can't see where I'm pointing, but her husband was to her right. Um, yeah. just, just stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, don't move. Uh, yeah. and, obviously, and obviously, it's, you know, you put you put ideas towards people. Of course. You've got, you got to make sure people are a thousand percent happy to do stuff. That's right. Never, ever, ever push anyone into doing anything they don't want no. to do. No, no, that's right. And I totally agree with that. Yeah. Uh, I, I love this at the moment, you as well. Uh, I love this little light going back and forth. Yeah, that was like cool. tonight. That was um, that's a little glass prism. So just caught the yeah. sun. Um, just ask them to close their eyes. That just thought it looked quite cool. Yeah, I don't mm. agree. That, that one there on the on the left. That's in um, that's in Clearwell Castle. Uh, sorry, a little bit further down. That's in a, yeah, that's in a greenhouse. Well, obviously as you can see. Um, yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. oh, it's baking in there. Obviously, it's a greenhouse. It's absolutely baking. But um, yeah, they went in there and it smells of tomatoes as well. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> lovely smell of tomatoes. Uh, yeah, love these sort of shots as well. Love it when yeah, they work out. Yeah, yeah. And I love a closer look at that. Does it? Yeah, of course. Uh, or... Will it open? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, really I nice. always, yeah, and um, sparkler shots I don't tend to do. It really frightens me doing tunnels because obviously sparkler shots, I mean, that, that was probably done like half past 10 at night. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's had lots of drink. Um, and uh, you know, with flaming hot fire, um, it's, it's good that it's away from the couple. So I normally tend to do that is to get the couple in front um, and to um, have people behind. Sometimes it's okay to do a tunnel if you've got like a really really wide path or something like that, and people just kind of hold it up, and that looks quite cool. Mm. Um, but, um, that was cool. Yeah. Oh, question. Uh, oh, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Oh, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Winter. Okay. Hi, nice to see you, Deb. Thanks for coming on. Uh, she loves the outdoor log photo. Which one was that? Oh, this, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm meeting, I'm meeting them um, in a couple of weeks um, just so to nice. say hello again. Yeah, I haven't seen them for a while. So um, that was so nice. Yeah, yeah. oh, fact. <laughs> that was uh, yeah. They, basically, they had a massive field with um, um, all those candles and stuff in jar jars, and it took me about probably about forty minutes to go and collect them all. So I could put them all <laughs> in the one get them to get them to stay there. We took you know took a few frames, and then they went back to the party. And then I was just kind of put them all back. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I also like this sort of stuff you do, Nick. Because, um, I mean, what, what I like about your work is, is that you can do the more, how can I say, apart from them being in the woodland here, but the more traditional sort of pose with the, with the um, bride and groom, you know. Um, but then you've got this sort of like more modern yeah, sort of. Yeah, I just love the light. Absolutely yeah, perfect. That was, there. That was it. Um, Triadon Bar or something. That was one of my first ones I ever did, actually. Was that um, Tree yeah. Down Barn? Yeah, that's Yeah, that's, that's, I love it. Laura and Steve, that was one of the first wins I ever did. Love it. Pixel Stick, is it this year? Pixel Stick. 
Yeah, quality. Yeah, down Oxford Spain, that was. Getting my feet wet. Yeah. Yeah, I love my... Didn't you get your feet wet in my wedding as well? If I remember I'm right. Getting... Yeah, I lost, yeah. Did I lose my shoes or something? No, I think I think he was such a gentleman. He gave them to Kate because you oh, needed a, you needed us to go and stand in this little, wonderful field. Uh, right. Yeah, so he, didn't, like, oh, he didn't realize yeah. the field was a bog, yeah. so uh, you kindly give up your shoes. And I, if I remember right, didn't you have incredible Hulk socks on? I think I got a photograph somewhere. You did, oh, you did didn't you? Cool. <laughs> if I had remembered that, I would have brought it up somewhere. But um, yeah, you're done. That's, that's nuts. Oh, good memory. Yeah, yeah, that was a bog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just problem. think, just looking at these. I mean, I haven't. I I don't know as much about what's going on. I just know they're incredible images. Yeah. So it's obvious, Nick, that you were kind of speaks for yourself because you know some of those are absolutely incredible. Yeah. And I'm not just saying this because obviously because you're on. This is amazing. Um, yeah. This is it's like some sort of from a, from a feature film, isn't it? That was um. Oh, I don't remember the name of the, the venue. Oh, what was it called? I can't remember. It was about four years ago. Um, that's my iPhone. That's my iPhone torch. So got them to stay still. Um, and that's the only thing I had to hand. So just got my iPhone torch on and just went past. That was Whoa. it. <laughs> and it's them little things like that. I mean, it's, it's really nice. And I think it's really, like I said, again, it's, it's super creative. You know, just think, right, I'll just try this. And yeah, I think it's, I think it's really good. Like and. I mean, you're you're probably the same with with, with weddings. You just try and keep the interest and, and uh, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, and especially when you go to the same venue again and again. I mean, you like to try and make the images look different, although you're in the same venue. And that's why I love going to this. It's, it's, it's a daft thing, but I love going to the same venues again and again because it does make it more difficult for yourself. That's so right. You, it cha challenges you. Really, really, really got to think hard. You really, really got to think hard. I mean, it's, it's it is easy to kind of fall into the trap of going. I know that's a great place to go, so we'll go over there, which you, you kind of do sometimes because obviously couples yeah. don't tend to see other couples' photographs. But yeah. for yourself, you know, you may go to the same kind of area, but you do try and, I don't know, position them differently or shoot them differently. Or, I, yeah. I think, you know, when I'm performing magic, I, I, I change things up from wedding to wedding just purely to keep in, uh, keep myself interested. Yeah. How do you do that then? Oh, well... What in terms of magic? Good evening, Emma. Hey, Emma. Hi, Emma. Thank you, Emma. Just oh, because I know thousands of different magic tricks, and the I have my favourites, and and uh, just yeah, and I'll go. And it depends on what the crowd are like and things like that as well. So it's very, very rarely exactly the same trick. So that's yeah. definitely that's definitely a talent to be able to do that because you've got to. It's, I guess it's a bit. Like, a bit, a bit I guess it's a bit like a stand-up comedian, isn't it? When when you stood in front of your audience and sometimes they'll laugh at something, sometimes they won't. So you're kind of testing that as you're going along. So, you know, if you're going to react um, a certain, you know, a certain way to a certain yeah. trick and then someone else may, from a different wedding, that's going to react a different way, I guess that that, that makes it quite difficult. Mm. Uh, yeah, I can't do it. it. Sometimes it's background noise or whatever. I mean, all these things are things that, you know, we can deal with because we've had quite a lot of experience in doing it now. Um, it's the same with the photography, isn't it? You know, it's, you know that you can do those things. You probably didn't know that you could do that on your on the time you shot your first wedding. Or maybe you did. <laughs> but, um, yeah, these things come, don't I, they, with time? I think I still learn now, though. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, hundred percent. There's there's still things I do, and I think, oh, I wonder if that'll work, and I'll give it a go, and I think, oh my god, that's incredible. I love that. That's what that's that's what's good about it is you probably feel the same as me. You do play, you you if yeah. You, if you approach it with like a child's mentality, as mm. it's it's mm. just it's just the most exciting thing ever, and you go into it, and and you know, this, like a stupid thing might be the best thing you've ever done. It's always it's always 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 worth trying something. Shoot through, yeah. shoot through things. Turn the camera upside down. That's right. Do, do settings you've never done. Yeah. Uh, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. It's it's definitely worth trying stuff without a doubt. Yeah. yeah. Totally agree. Uh, okay, so Nick, you have you're married. Yep. Um, what we like to ask our guests is um obviously if they, if they uh are married, then tell us about their wedding really. So what what was what where where did you get married and what what was your wedding like and how Me long ago was it? Um, it was 2008, uh, May 9th, which is my mum's birthday, which was cool. Nice. Um, and um, we got married at St. Basil's Church. I'm not religious at all, but it was, it's a church that's, 
basically it's a 10th century church and my entire mum's side of the family has got married there and it was just a nice oh, thing okay. it's, it's just it's just down the road um and then we went to the corgi muster um which we were on we got, last week actually which we were on last week yeah mm, we did we had about That's 80, venue. Okay, 80 guests um two photographers we had richie walton who is kind of into skateboarding photography and i had andy davis um who's got a studio, oh, yeah. got a studio in Virginia. yeah so i had those guys. which was really cool because andy's really he's great at weddings richie's really good at skateboard photography so we got a kind of match between the two which made it yeah. really good for us. i had a few mates because i was at um i just finished my um i did a film masters in the, the uni in newport and um i had a few mates video it for me as well um one well, edited together still got still got the uh, the raw footage and I um, quite like I quite like the fact you had two photographers because obviously as you know I had two photographers in my wedding yeah because I wanted because we we I can explain it we I, I I don't shoot at all I got my own style and people will look at my website um and think God I love Les's images is wonderful and people will look at it and go that's not for me right and I hundred percent get that and I think if I I, I wouldn't I would. I'd be really at my own backside to think that every person should hire me because I'm not saying that one bit, you know. I'm not right yeah. for some people, but I'm perfect for others, you know. And like us all, I guess. Um, and that's why I had you and Graham, Graham Harris from G Photography. If he's watching, Gray, love you, buddy. Hope you're doing well down there, Flanetly. Um, well, that, that that didn't sound Welsh at all today. That sounded Yorkshire, didn't it? Or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh yeah, I should stop doing accents. I'm really bad. Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, I, I see you as totally different photographers. Do you, do you know what I mean? I think you were you were you were wonderful at natural light. Um, you're a master of natural light and getting them light trails and light beams and blah blah blah. Where Graham is wonderful with flash as well, and I, I see him as a master at it. He's brilliant yeah, he's, in flash photography, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. why I wanted the both of you because I wanted two different ends of the spectrum of photography. You know, that's cool. Yeah, is that, is that common? Sorry, Nick. No, no, no. Is that right. common? No. I, I would no. swear. No, I'd say no. I, 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 there's not many people I probably have two photographers, I guess. Probably just photographers. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I wonder, just wondering if that's something that people should consider. I mean, yeah. as in, I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you, you need another photographer. So you'll bring in an associate to, to maybe cover if you're too far away and stuff. Things like that happen. You can't be in two yeah. places at once sometimes. Yeah. So we, we, you know, we, we know a lot of people in the industry and, and, and work alongside closely with other people um, that we would bring in to help out at the wedding. But I, I, that would only be for the purpose of you can't be in two places at once. If the bride and groom in the mornings are so far apart, they yeah. want, you know, coverage of the both of them. So stuff like that. Um, so only just out of curiosity, I just I imagine how would it be difficult when you're like, okay, we want you and we've got another wedding photographer. Like, how does that work? I mean, obviously, I guess you speak and you decide. I mean, I guess I'm not sure. Yeah, how yeah, does it work? Something, eh? something I always offer. Hey, Naris. Good evening, Naris. <laughs> it's, it's something I always offer, and probably one in oh boy, one in twenty people take it up. I guess. Yeah. I'm try. I'm tr I try to push it sometimes because it's logistically it's it's um it's easier. Yeah. Um, which yeah. means I, I get to spend more time with the bride and groom and um, doing portraits and stuff like that. So e even if it's like that, an extra ten minutes, um, so I don't have to rush back and photograph the room. That extra ten minutes is is you know it can be absolute golden. So you know in in that in that respect, it's it's definitely worth considering second photographer. It's not it's not yeah. essential. And we do just no. great that one, but it they, it does have you do have benefits with the second photographer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, that's interesting. I know I'd never heard of that. Well, I have kind of, I suppose. I'd never really considered it though. So um, yeah. yeah. So I, I start Steve another good another good uh, photographer. They are art by design. Go, Steve Weller. Hey, Steve. He, he has Nick, uh, no, he's he's got, got a question it. for you, Nick. Is there an idea you want to try with Nats? If, if it's on, I'd love to do some underwater stuff. I'd love to yeah. do some. Killer, I love it. Um, just think, just think the veil and the dress kind of floating around with really ethereal, like a ghost. It looks great, like a jellyfish, um, yeah, like a jellyfish. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's really, 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 really romantic. Um, yeah, but um, oh, oh boy, let me think. Um, aside from a site outside of weddings, um, I'd love to do more street photography, yeah. yeah me I, too. I, I, I went to. I went, I went to a wedding in um, 
in Japan years and years ago. Teresa's brother got married in Japan. And um, I was just just getting into photography in, it, in a kind of serious way. But I'd love to go back there and do some street photography. I see some amazing street photography in, in, in Tokyo. That's cool. So I, I just love to go back there and do some street photography. Mm. I love and I agree. I agree. I agree with Neris there. Sorry, Nick, because I think if we were all the same, then it would be a very yeah. boring wedding industry. Yeah, but I don't, how does your style? That, that's that's a good question for you, Les. How does your style develop in in terms of? We we've all got the same cameras. We've all got the same venues. Mm. We've got you know, um, you know, the same access to the same facilities. But all our, but our photos are completely different. How does how does that happen? I, I see different brains in it. It's different, different, different brains. Yeah, they're totally different brains and totally way of seeing things. Um, I think my sort of style. I mean, your style changes. I think and and over time. And I think when I started looking at me, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. Even the first wedding I shot was a family wedding, and I look at them now and I think, oh, that was one brilliant. Because like, I have to remember where I was at that time. I was brand new with doing it, you know. Yeah. And you could see, you could see sometimes there was like some fear in, in the images. Um, no risk, no risks taken, I guess, mm -hmm. um, because I couldn't take the risks. I, I didn't know how to take the risks, if you know what I mean, because yeah, I didn't want to mess yeah. up. Do, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they, they're very safe and, you know, it's still wonderful. There's still memories and it's still priceless. And I still stand by every image I take. Yeah. Um, but you can definitely see where you started to get a bit more confident in your work, you mm -hmm. know? And 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 you, and I feel like I'm on the ball, you know. After after you do a couple, you you know you, you're in there and you're feeling okay. Because I still felt I was a bit new the first couple of years. Like do you know what I mean? I'm still learning yeah. and still learning now. Like we said, but yeah, I think it's a confidence thing. I think you 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 want to take. I know I'm there for a purpose to make sure I've got them images and I need to document yeah. them images yeah. correctly. But they're also hiring me because of my creative brain, I guess as well. So I'm not afraid anymore to take them risks. I'm not afraid to to grab cool. a bride and think, good gosh, there's a light coming in here now. I need you. Just come with me. There's method in my madness. Please come with me a minute as she's checking into her afters, you know. And I'm like, please just give me two seconds of your time. You just need, you just know, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you do. And I think, I, I think I'm think i completely with you on that. When I, when I first started out, looking back at my first few weddings, I was trying to be a wedding photographer. As, as cheesy as it sounds out, you try to be a photographer at a wedding, which I, you know, there is a difference, isn't there? Yeah, and, yeah. And well, that's back, a nice distinction. Looking, looking back at my first, my first few weddings, it's like, oh, this is what wedding photographers do. And now, you know, it, it didn't take long for you to completely realise that that's not, not a wrong way to do it, but not not as an effective way as trying to look at it the other way. It's just, you know, being someone who's a dab out of the camera. Yeah. yeah. Well, now it's now it's what Nick Murray does, isn't it, or what Les Davis does, or, mm. or whatever. It's not it's not you trying to be something, you're just being yourself. And but you've got the experience and knowledge to be able to do it well. Yeah. I and so. I think at every wedding I do, I try, like you said, I try not to be a wedding photographer. Yeah. Because I I don't want to be a wedding photographer. I want to be some a, a creative photographer. You know, and we all got different styles and stuff. I want to try different things and and you know i will always say to my bride and grooms i'll capture you know i'll talk them through a timeline when they when they hire me i, I ring them up um months before and i say look this is what we're going to do this section this is how we're going to do this section etc cetera, etc cetera. Yeah. and i'll also say to them i will need you sometimes to just grab you and i need you to come with me and just go with what i want you to do a minute because there's this wonderful golden hour. There's this wonderful light shining that. through a window. There's this swan down in Hel Hensel Lake that's really cool, and I need you to stand by, or whatever, you know? So I will explain to them, yes, we're going to capture this, this, and this, but also there'll be sections where I just don't know what's going to happen, and you just got to go with me. <laughs> yeah, you just got to come along for the ride. Yeah. I think oh, but just listening to you, how you both speak about it, you're just really passionate about it, and you're passionate about your work, and it, it does, it definitely does show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, you've got to be in you. Otherwise, it, um, it's someone who wants to else. And I'm not there. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I love yeah. it. Now. I mean, because what's happened this year, um, next year's pretty bonkers. And yeah, yeah it's exciting. Yeah. How have you found this year, Nick? Which is a stupid um, question, I know, but. I know. Yeah, it kind of, kind of strange. It's, it's, it's given me a chance to work on a few things. Like, I've started to do more family stuff now. Um, mm. just, uh, just, it was. Basically, there to to kind of 
give you some to aim towards, obviously because of because of weddings as they stand at the moment, this it's gonna be very, very small for the for the time being. So um I've been looking towards putting some family stuff together, which I love. Um mm-hmm. but um with regards to weddings, um yeah, I visited my website, which you which you kindly shown. Um yeah. but um yeah, just kind of hanging around. My house looks great at the moment though. <laughs> it's, uh, all the repairs <laughs> yeah, right. all the repairs and stuff have been really good. <laughs> Yeah. So if so, people watching now and say they were um they were they were like game or they see in and oh yeah sorry I left that up too long there sorry uh, <laughs> de- clearly you're using Debbie way too much though yeah no it does seem like that is she a good yeah. uh, guinea pig though I think what Deb doesn't know will what she will know now is that I have lots and lots of guinea pigs <laughs> I'm like a guinea pig farmer but anyway <laughs> let's let's go back on to the subject. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I, I can't take it off a minute. Oh, there it is. Sorry. There we go. Cool. Uh, yeah. So, um, what was I going to say then? Oh, God, I've lost it. I think, I think, was it tips? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was going to say, um, so people watching oh, this, like, like your website, like your, you as a person, because that's a, that's a big thing as well. Um, what would they do to, to, to book Nick Murray? What would they, uh, what, what, what's the process? Drop me a message uh, through my contact form. Um, and then normally we'd meet up for a coffee or, you know, go somewhere nice, go for a walk or something, just 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 to kind of get to know you. Uh, but obviously these days it's, it's over Skype or FaceTime or something like that. Um, and then pay the uh, booking fee, a couple of forms, yeah. sit with the forms, and then and I'm there for the day. And I always tell people as well, they can, you know, what we're doing now is, is you know, they can have unlimited amounts of video chats to kind of hold their hands through the yeah. process of it recommendations for you know florists or you know makeup artists videographers wedding planners um anything like that you know um, yeah. i'm kind of them. so yeah it's, it's it's a pretty simple process just get in touch say hi i'll send them i'll send them a few albums um a few galleries that they can look through a few weddings of normally um of their wedding venue uh, mm-hmm. and if they like they see and um, we do this and see if we vibe and and if, and if we do um yeah get booked in Really simple. And, and to be honest, like I said, I, I mean, it's, it's quite a crazy thing as photographers because we are, I mean, we, we, we're rivals, right? And it's not, you know, paper over that. I mean, you're a wedding photographer. I'm a wedding photographer in South Wales, you know what I mean? But we are a close little gang. We are a, yeah, close, we little, are. We are a close little community. And I got no qualms at all in saying, um, your work is wonderful. You shot my wedding. Um, the images were perfect. You were perfect. You know what I mean? You know, I can't say anything better about you really it was a perfect day and you've done a really good job um so and he had hulk socks and he had hulk socks so if you want your way to put a photographer to rock it <laughs> and his shoes over to the bride which i thought was an amazing touch um <laughs> and reveal his his hulk socks then this is the man honestly <laughs> <laughs> yes. okay um yeah, I, no, just just to just to go, go on to that point about not feeling we're rivals but not rivals it's you can't take it personally because people either like your work or they don't like your work i don't think Mm. they either like or they don't like you i don't think you know if we were producing identical photographs and they were edited in an identical way then i can kind of see you'd be like oh why did they they pick him well you can't take it personally because you know if they love your stuff they love your stuff and i think that's really important right and i think I think it took me ages at the start to realize that I, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I can't book every single wedding that comes to me as an inquiry. Yeah. And I used to find it difficult at the beginning because I'd see some other photographer shooting that wedding. And I think, oh, no way. Why didn't I get that? You know? Yeah. But now I think we just weren't the right match. They weren't my bride and groom. No, I, weren't their, I weren't their photographer. Yeah, Do you know yeah I mean? that's, and that's fine. And it's good as well because they, they, they wouldn't have, the couple would end up with a phot- photographer that they love. I mean, there's no point yeah. to, you know, getting a job and and you're kind of like 90% there with the couple because... You, you need to be a team on the day, don't you? And if, if they've, right. pick, they've picked you because they love you, you're going to be a better team. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, one more comment, dear. What's this? Oh, also, Fritch. So, uh, I think it's photographer is an absolutely positive person, which can be hard sometimes. You need to be a positive person, Nick. We mm. I, I agree with him. I think you'd always been a positive person. I have. <laughs> I, no, I really have. Well, first of all, thanks, Rich. That's really nice. Yeah, um, that nice. I I don't know. I, I just... I, 
not much gets to me. I mean, I say not much gets to me. The, the things get to me, like every like everyone. But um, you know, try and see the try and see the good in people. I fundamentally believe that most people are decent, good, loving yeah. people. I really, I genuinely believe that. Most people want the same things. Most people want to be loved. Most people want to be happy. Most yeah. people want a family or to be part of a family or have a group. Everyone's the same. Pretty much everyone's the same, aren't they? <clears throat> at, the, at their core. Um, and and I take, I don't know, I take, quite, I, I take a bit of comfort in that. Mm. But, you know, I, I see you guys in front of me. You're, you're the same as me, pretty much. You know, we all kind of want the same things. We all, you know, we all want, yeah. you know, we all want a family. We want partners. Um, and I get, I get a lot of happiness out of that. And my kids, um, Teresa as well, um, and and doing something that I love. And I, I feel this sounds cheesy as well, but being being free. Photography to me is freedom. Mm. To be completely, you know, um, you know, not weighed down by by anything when it comes to creativity. Yeah. To me, that makes me happy. If if I had to, I mean, I, I've had jobs that I haven't liked before. You know, I've, I've been there, yeah. and, and mm. it's made me it's made me unhappy. Um, but, yeah. but but to be to be working in in an industry and to be doing something that that makes me feel um, free, <laughs> I guess is I can't think of another word. Um, it does make me happy. It really does. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. I agree. I agree. And somebody who knows your family, I believe. It's my sis. Ah. <laughs> Very well. Hello, Nick's sister. Hello, Nick's sister. <laughs> Thank you for your comment. Okay, <laughs> Nick, Nick Murray, that was you done. Oh, really? Right. God, that was quick. I, that's literally, that's we are well so over, right. well over. We are going to be uh, there. Gonna, we, are you going to stay <laughs> with our next section and help us out? Yeah, yeah. If you want. yeah. I think you're going to have to because I said to Les at the beginning, oh, I've got six Les. And he said, I've got pages. I said, oh, really? <laughs> said, well, you would expect me to, you know, because it is wedding photography. So, so yeah, yeah. Nick, we wanted to um, think of, because uh, when we do this, we think of a different subject at the end. So we usually talk for half hour to the photographer, to the service, and then discuss our top tips for half hour. But we've only got uh, 10 minutes left. So okay. um, we wanted to chat. And and because uh, if uh, bride and grooms type in tips, uh, inbox us tips, they get the top tips sent out then each week, which is really uh, really helpful for them. So we like to ask our services what 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 their advice would be. Okay, so yeah. being today, being photography, uh, we are wanting to tell people how they find the perfect photographer. Okay, so um, what we generally do is I'll go first, then James, then you, and go around a couple of times till we've exhausted it. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so my top tip is, um, I would say if people are looking for the, um, perfect photographer, and I mean, I'm using perfect light there. I mean, to say yeah, we, photographers, there's a perfect photographer out there, uh, it's probably difficult because I don't think anything's perfect, but you know, you know what I mean? A, a quality, yeah. trusted, well-rounded photographer. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say, um, and you know what I'm going to go with, um, make sure you meet them because we've been speaking a lot tonight about um it's not just about the images it's about the personality of the photographer as well and i think it's really really important that you get on as a, as a partnership because it is it's a partnership on the day it's you know we've got to we've got to get on um my personality needs to meet yours and yours and mine because w w that's the only way i think you can get the best out of people um because if they think my personality is too underwhelming or overwhelming then maybe i'm not the person for them they need to because i we, we spend a lot of time with these people on the day and yeah. i think if 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 they just book me to look at my images and think god he does really good images i would say please don't book me because of that ring me or more importantly meet up with me so you can discuss things with me you can see what i'm like as a person uh, and then make the decision after that well and obviously watch the webcast and watch the webcast. Boom, boom. 100%. So that would be my first top tip there. That's a good top tip. Thank you. James. Okay, I, I'm going to go, and I'm going to say you, my top tip is you get kind of what you pay for. So if you want a fan, if you want some of those fast, fantastic images that we've seen tonight, then obviously they've got a cost. And there isn't a direct correlation between being expensive and being the best. But certainly at the other side of the scale, there is. And if somebody's very, very cheap, 
I would say it's unlikely yeah. that they're very, very good. And I, I think that's fair. And, uh, you know, if... Yeah, I just oh, think yeah. That's, oh, definitely that's check, thing. check, check it out, really. Isn't it? And that's yeah. what these tips are doing, hopefully. It was, it'll give people the... Um, It'll give people the information to check out these people because there's plenty of people out there uh, and there's loads of people out there doing wonderful work. Prices are different. And I also think that oh, people who've been doing this a long time, um, we sort of get get to a different level price-wise, I guess. I don't, you know, it just naturally progresses as you get on, I guess. But Yeah, I mean, I've got, I mean, without going into some of the other tips, I just think that I do know couples that have been really unhappy with the uh, kind of wedding images and the, yeah and part of it was because how they wanted the budget for stuff I, and and again that maybe that's not everyone's cup of tea everyone's got their own budgets and i completely understand that i just it's about the expectations i think so i would yeah. also say if somebody's saying to you on group on they're going to shoot your wedding 50 quid be dubious yeah no that is what i'm saying that is what i'm saying yeah there you are okay Thanks mark i went down james boy <laughs> thank you for that one nicholas on. yeah um I'd, I'd say ask to see full full weddings it's, I think that's one of the most important things ever. Obviously, meeting the couple, you um, you got to do that 100%. They must they must meet in front to make sure that you get on because you're going to be spending, like you say, a lot of the time with them. But to see a full gallery, obviously, <coughs> excuse me, the, um, the gallery on your website um, is your highlights. Um, yeah, that's you're right. Gonna, you're going to show work you think is going to resonate with people kind of just flicking through the internet. But and we can't we can't show a full gallery on our websites because it, it is not enough room, is it? Do you know what I mean? So we will pick off. I pick my favorite images. The the, the website uh, the the pictures on my website and social media are my favorites. You know, and I, I clear them with the bride and groom first, but they were the ones I like. You know. Yeah, and you gotta you revisit your website, don't you? And it's gonna make you happy. Yeah. But mm. I think it is, I think it is important to see because. You, you need to see the whole day. It's those moments that you're going to look back on in 30, 40 years' time, you know, even further, and generations to come, you know, when your kids have got kids and they've got kids, um, you know, hopefully they do last that long. Um, and, it's, yeah. and it's those kind of moments that you do see in, in, a, in a full gallery from the very, very first photo that you take to the last frame you take. Um, that's the ones that tell the story of your day. I think that's mm -hmm. important. I mean, it's great having stuff on the wall. Don't get me wrong. That's, that's like... Yeah. I, I love that part about getting nice portraits for people. But the more yeah. meaningful stuff is your Auntie Flo you haven't seen for 27 years, you know. Um, mm. you kids playing on the ground, um, you know. I don't know, it's just the, the things that, the things you don't tend to see in, in, a, in a portfolio. That's right. That's don't, don't, just, don't just look for wonderful images of bride and grooms. No, look at, no. look at everything because yeah, there nice could be people who, who can just take photos of, people but like you said wedding photography is not just people it's product photography as well it's all the little details of bride and, bride and grooms have thought a long time about color schemes and little favors and little things that got going on you've got to be able to capture everything in there especially yeah you're right especially when you're talking about things like favors and stuff like that a lot of couples they make that stuff themselves yeah mm. um, so i think it's, it's it's important to pay the respect to stuff like that and to capture that you know i wouldn't necessarily put you know a, a, you know like a like a placemat on on my portfolio, but to no. show the couple that is important to make sure that you know yeah. hey, look, I am a photographer that that kind of respects the process of planning yeah. a wedding, um, and and you need to you need to bear that in mind when you when yeah. You're that down. Totally agree. Totally agree. Okay, uh, add that one, James Boy. It's another one here. Three down. Done it. Uh, okay, so I would also say. Um, Ah, oh, gosh, 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 gosh. I would say make sure if you if you see your photographer and you like what you see, you've met them, uh, your personalities get on, book that photographer. Don't wait for another three weeks or three months or, or, or whatever yeah. because that photographer, if they are a popular photographer, um, I would say they will you will lose them. So if you like especially them, Especially at the time, at the current time, isn't it? Yeah. Where so many, there are so many weddings. If you like the images, in. you meet them, the personalities check out, book that photographer. Because if you wait and you hang on, then I think they will be, you'll, you'll lose that date because they will be quickly booked up. Yeah. And uh, you, you always, I mean, you're, you're probably the same. If someone does, <coughs> excuse me, if someone does the same, I always get a couple of straight away before I even apply to the other couple. Um, yeah. Just, just like courtesy, you know. That's it, it's it's hard because you don't, want, you know, you don't want people kind of fighting over that date. 
it's just yeah. it's just not nice to be in it. It's just not nice to say, you know, oh, sorry, this person's, you know, they, they want to go ahead now and they want to go ahead. And, you know, it's just, if you, you're right. If you look, if you love someone and you, and you love their work and, and you vibe with them and you, you know, they work resonates with you, just get them books. It's one of the big okay. things, isn't it? Just get yeah. it, get it. And then just kind of relax a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Agreed with that one, I think. <laughs> yeah, so I like Jim, that you, you haven't actually said you've got any of mine there, James, and you generally do. No, music, man, no, music, to be honest, I'm clutching, I'm clutching the straws. But um, <laughs> <laughs> so my next one, I've actually done some research. I was just can't pull. Well, we'll see. Um, I don't know what you think about this one. This is from the knot.com, which is a, honestly a wedding website. Um, and it's saying about ask your photographer about photo rights. And on that website, and I don't know if this is true or not, it's saying there are a lot of wedding photographers and shoot me down in flames mm -hmm. but they're like if if any or they insist actually if any like they sh share any images on social media that they'd all have the photographer they all watermark on it i mean i don't know i don't i wouldn't be like i don't know how easy that is to enforce <laughs> anyway but I, I, doing my research as les insists that is off the knot.com so it says to ask about that what do you think about that i mean we don't have to put it in We've never I, not pulled in there, no. No, I think no, it's important sure. to ask what they can do with the images because, uh, I mean, that I have got, a, um, uh, in my terms and conditions, there is a, um, a usage of usage, <laughs> sorry, of images. Um, I, I'm shooting that wedding for the bride and groom, so um, the images are ultimately theirs. I mean, they get all their images. We know I don't watermark my images when they they gone to them. They once yeah. once the images are delivered, they, they are theirs. That's what they're paying for. Um, the, what I do have in my um, my uh, terms and conditions is that say any services request them images off them if they could come to me. Uh, oh, that's fair. Yeah, that's really fair. To so I can speak to that service, um, you know, and, and if they're going to use it for promotion and stuff like that, which which happens. Um, oh well, yeah, I'll probably end up. Come, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they can come to me and ask me, and then you know I can see where their images are going and what they're being used for. Um, but the bride and groom are free to do what they like with, with my images. I mean, it's their product. That's what they're paying for. I put a couple on Facebook on my fit page after each wedding. Um, yeah. But they are watermarked. Uh, bride and groom can share and do what they want with them, but they can request, you know, social media ones with, without the, without a watermark because the bride and groom are ultimately paying for that service, really. I don't know. But yeah. I think everybody's I completely different. I don't know about you, Nick. Yeah, I don't, I don't watermark. Um, I used to... So, for instance, I would have put like a couple of um, on Facebook. I maybe put like a board around it and put my my little logo on the bottom. <clears throat> but for the ones that the clients have, I never I never watermark them. And and yeah. with, with regards to usage, exactly the same as you. They can do pretty much what they like with them, so long yeah. as they use them for any kind of business or anything. And if and if they were to say send them to um, I don't know like a bridal shop or something like that, you'd want them just to make sure that. They were having the absolute best quality images because what I do, I give them, I give them a mm. high resolution folder, which is great for printing, um, and then kind of a lower resolution, which I kind of precise for social media, just to make it easier for people. Um, yeah. So just cool. just to make sure that where, wherever they're going to send them has the best quality. That's that's pretty much what I make sure of. Yeah. I, I was yeah. just going for like trying to find tips that maybe you two wouldn't have. So yeah. That's a good end. No, that's really important. That's a really important oh, question to ask. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really to myself. It's been day. Uh, okay, cool. Um, is so, you know, Nick? It is Nick. Sorry, sir. You were you were turn. It's Mike. <laughs> oh God. Um, let me think. Um, that's fine. Um, oh, food on the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it, is, is it important to feed your photographer? Um, it is. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, well, it is, it isn't. I mean, I, I always tell couples that they're not, you know, don't feel pressure to kind of feed your photographer. But it's just nice for me. 99 times out of 100, the couple always approach me anyway and say, you know, what you want to eat, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I think it is important just so I know what to do and to make arrangements. Yeah. So if I was, say, for instance, yeah. you know, some wedding venues are in, like, fields, like, 10 miles from somewhere right. and the nearest and, and your chicken sandwiches you've taken with you are now <laughs> boiling and gone off so you can't exactly. eat them so, yeah. try to find somewhere to eat. so it's just, it is very very handy to know um 
to know what's going to be happening with that. I mean, m most people are wonderful and they really, really do look after you um, and uh, and make sure that you're you know, fed and watered as food is the most important part of the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, sometimes you're with, sometimes you're with the guests, um, sometimes you're out on your own. Either way is amazing. Um, but even you know, even if the couple don't offer you food, um, that's that's amazing as well. You know, whatever whatever they're happy with, it's just it's just always handy. It's always just always handy. You know, no pre yeah pre hand in it, so you can no, uh, you can work well. out what's going on. Exactly. Yeah. So, really yeah. Um, me now. Yeah. One more. So have we got time for one more round? Yeah, we got one more round. Yeah, one more round. Yeah, one more round. Uh, okay. So, oh my God, I got. See, look. When you say that, um, I don't look at these gems. Same list. It's look the that. same list as episode one of this. No, look at that as well. All double sided. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Good job, isn't it? Dogs and cats. Kind of you know what? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> okay, yeah. I would say. Um, I would say, uh, oh gosh. Okay, so make sure that your wedding photographer has experience in shooting weddings. And um, this is a little tiny bit controversial because we all start somewhere. Uh, and I started yeah. somewhere, um, but mine was a family, my family. So if I messed it up, then I would get it in the year and they would hate me forever, but it's my family. Um, but and it's a fine line between everybody's got to start somewhere. But my advice would be um, to bride and grooms, check out the experience of the photographer who was saying they're going to shoot your wedding or was saying they're the wedding photographer. Um, I do believe you have to have a few years experience before you get into it. I was lucky I came through it unscathed. Um, my advice to if budding photographers were watching this, I would say your best bet would be to shadow another photographer. This, like me and Nick were asking about, um, we were speaking about things earlier, saying, um, you know, we do need like a bit of help sometimes on weddings. So a lot yeah. of a lot of wedding photographers will want help. So you know, um, I think that's the correct route, but that's totally going off the subject now. That's for other budding photographers. No, coming. I think it's nice. It's nice, to, but, you know. That there's, but I, but I think it's important. To... Yeah, and I think it's important for bride and grooms to check, you know, that they have they have shot. Quite a few weddings over over they quite experienced then in shooting weddings i agree and as far as i'm concerned wedding photography and videography is one of the most important parts of the day you know just documenting everything you just i i would just want it to be right i yeah i see it as an essential wedding service so uh, yeah absolutely mm -hmm. um my one is kind of broad so it's just do your research. It's finding out things. I say this every single week, and it's kind of my easy one. But do they look professional? You know, how do how do they engage with you? What's the communication like? Have you got a contract? I mean, Les mentioned his terms and conditions. People should have terms and conditions. Um, and it's just that type of stuff. Yeah. Okay, it's all nice. around experience, isn't it? Sorry, Nick, go on. No, no, no. I was, I was just going to say, and, and, and for my one, um, is to ask for recommendations for other yeah. suppliers. Because I think, um, you know, as someone who kind of lives and breathes weddings, you get, you get to know the best people, the, the people that work with venues well. Um, I mean, most most people, <coughs> excuse me, um, they're not obviously they're not involved in the wedding industry. They work in offices, shops, factories, you know, right across the board. And it's not an industry that they're yeah. kind of familiar with. So definitely use your photographer to find out you know who, who's hmm. a great artist who's a great hairstylist who's a great wedding planner um who's an, an amazing videographer and and you know most of us will you know be happy to put our hands up and say yeah i know an amazing one and and they'll, yeah. and, they'll and they'll offer this for your day um yeah i think that's definitely important just yeah just 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 take take a, a take, take some happy advice from from hmm. people that see it day in day out and it'll make your day amazing which is what it's about you know, at the end yep. of the day, yeah, just it'll it'll make your days it'll make your day smoother and you know stress free if you get the right people in, in, in place. I think that's really yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, absolutely, perfect. So that's nine. Can I just finish one off, James? So we got ten then. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, and this is I totally feel strongly about this one. Print your photos. Print. Get an yeah. album. Get an album. Have, have you got a photo there today, Les? You forgot. Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's got this thing, and uh, he always puts a different photo on his the back of his in chair. Fact, that's a photo Nick take. <laughs> it is, is it? 
it is. Yeah. I hope it's, is it watermarked? <laughs> <laughs> no, he told me he doesn't do watermark. He said that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's for my wedding. Yeah, that's me, my father, my wife, and my son. Awesome. It's Nick Tuck. Uh, yeah. And I tell you what, because of uh, my good old buddy Graham as well, there's one of Graham's done as well. Look at that. Oh, Boom. Ah. Anyway, um, yeah, cool. So, um, yeah, print print your photos, get them, get an album, because it's wonderful having them on a storage device, um, but there's nothing better than having a little family heirloom or anything. You can just hand down to generations and generations. Um, get get a wedding album. Please get a wedding album. You get all USB images with my package. Do you do that as well, Nick? So you have an album with your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you get the USB, you get all the images as well, but get an album as well. Do you know what I mean? Get an album. Even yeah. if it's not from me, just get it printed. Uh, yeah. I've, had, I've, had, I've had lots of couples... I say lots of couples. I've had some couples come back to me and said, oh, I put my photos on my hard drive. And my hard drive crashed and I can't get my photos back. And luckily, touch words... Yeah. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not an addict to kind of storage place, but I, I've I've got every wedding I've ever shot ever still. Wow. Um, yeah. So if people come back to me, um, you know they they'll more than likely to to be able to have their photos again. Um, but yeah, it, it is important to, like you say, to get your photos printed out and, and to enjoy them as well. I mean, it's, yeah. it's it's great having your photos, you know, on a on a hard drive, but you want to see them on the wall. Says says the person. Who's like, Zero photos up, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it is important to have your photos up so you can actually enjoy them. You know, it's it's nice. To, you know, we've got a couple of wedding photos downstairs, and it's nice to walk past and just to have that that you know that brief half a second and go, oh, that was, that was nice. Yeah, that was nice. yeah, yeah. It definitely. Is. I've, I've got I've got one wonderful Im well, it's image you took uh, on on our wall. And I know it feels like I'm just saying that now, but what I will do is I'll take a photo of it earlier, later and I will put it on the webcast page so you can oh, I can prove that I'm telling yeah. you the truth. Uh, yeah. yeah, but it, we got a lovely photo up on, on, on our walls. It's just a lovely moment. I mean, just to remember when you were past it, like it's you get them printed. Yeah, exactly. Get them printed. Okay, Nick Murray, that was you done. Thank you so much, mate. Pleasure. Thank you very much. It's really, really nice to see you. Um, if people are still, yeah, we still got loads in watching. Um, so anybody's interested in Nick uh, and his work, um, please go to nickmurrayphotography.co.uk. Uh, he's based in Newport. <laughs> Ten miles outside Newport. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so yeah, he's he's a wonderful guy. I can't vouch for him uh, any more than saying that he shot my wedding and he was wonderful. And I'm a fellow photographer, so um, that don't come lightly. Um, so yeah, he's a he's a really good guy, top block, and a wonderful wedding photographer. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice. Honestly, you lush. Nick, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, we will speak soon. You're looking well. I'm glad you survived lockdown. Um, I know you got family shoots on as well, so go and check that out. Anybody interested in family shoots? Um, go to Nick's website, nickmurrayphotography.co.uk. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. No Pleasure, worries Nick. at all. Thank you very much, Nick. Cheers. Take okay. care. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Ah, buddy. My wave is much better this week, Les. It is a lot better this week. Um, did, did, did. Oh, Nick, are you still there? Yeah, he's still there. Can you see this, Nick? Yeah. That's off the wife, look. That's, you can't get a better... You know, he's back in. Back, back in, Nick. Here <laughs> you are. That's off the wife, look. See? Oh, you're a star, no problems. Brilliant. Yeah. Right, get out, get out. You've had enough promo now. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, that was another really, really informative episode. Really, really nice. I thoroughly really enjoyed that. Nice. Yeah, what a nice. I haven't met Nick before, to be honest. I am um, so that, really yeah, nice just, yeah. yeah, you can tell. I, I, I'm I'm confident that anybody watching us could tell what a nice guy. He is, you know, and he's, he's not just doing it because um, he's you. He, he is that nice. And, and, you know, makes me sick sometimes. He's so nice, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I ain't joking. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that was episode eleven done, James. Absolutely, can't believe it. So next week is good. three months in already. Three months in, and we have. We do this every week. Why do we remember what to look before we do this? I think it suits. I think so I think is. we have suits on next week. So interesting one for the men and the women as well, because obviously they want their, their grooms to look uh, super smart. Uh, yeah. 
so we got suits on next week so please tune in if anybody's watching and they want our top tips which this one was amazing uh yeah, please please good. please inbox the webcast page and type tips t-i-p-s and you would get yeah. our top tips automatically each week. Only once you got to do it, and you get each week's sent through to you every week. Okay, yeah. uh, and you can stop at any time as well. That's important yeah, to say. Yeah, you There's can unsubscribe no, no at all. It's just just the tips. Yeah, and they're really worth having as well. So we got still got loads of people in. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you coming back. I'm um, just checking if we got any questions here, Richard. Oh, thank awesome you very much, Richard. Guys. Richard, thank you so much, Richard. I think we'll line you up for jumping on in a couple of weeks. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Space. And get a wonderful Louise Absolutely. on as well. Um, yeah, that is it, James. Thank you very much. Stay safe, everyone. Have a yep, happy, happy um, what day are we on? Tuesday. Happy, happy Tuesday. Take care, James. It's been a pleasure. Take care. All the best. See you soon. Au revoir. Take care. Nick, we'll see you in a sec.